Hello everyone, this is Getting Started with Microsoft PowerPoint 2013. My name is David Hensley and I am an Information Management Instructor at Cincinnati State. To start Microsoft PowerPoint, click the Start button, click All Programs, click the Microsoft Office 2013 folder, Click PowerPoint 2013. When you initially launch the application, you're going to see templates that you can choose from. You will also see different categories that you can pick from if you don't like any of the visible templates. You can also search for a template if you happen to know the name or the category. For this presentation, we're just going to select Blank Presentation. Before you begin using PowerPoint, you will need a quick overview. Up at top, you have the Quick Access Toolbar. Near there, you have the different tabs, which is Home, Insert, Design, Transitions, Animations, and so on. As you can see, within the tab, you have different grouping. Within the Home tab, you have the slides and font and paragraph and drawing. Within the main pane you have the slide pane. Over to the far left you have the thumbnail pane. At the very bottom I have the status bar, notes button, comments button, The different view buttons are Normal, Slide Sorter, Reading Pane, and Slideshow. You also have the Zoom slider at the bottom of the status bar to zoom in and out. At the bottom left of the status bar, it displays how many slides you currently have. Now we will be entering text into the title. This is very similar how you would do it within Microsoft Word. Click anywhere within, click to add title. And here I'm just going to type in my project. And I'm going to click within the add subtitle. Here I'm just going to put actually just like student name. So once you have the information entered in, you can actually go ahead and resize the title text placeholders if you want to. So just select a placeholder and then go to any of the corners or the sides and just click and drag to actually resize it. So once I resize it I can then click and actually move it now. And of course I can do the same for my subtitle. Now I can actually format the text by selecting whatever word or character I would like to change. So from here, as soon as I select project, you can see the mini toolbar pops up. So I can bold it, I can make it italic, I can underline it, I can make it a certain color such as red. And then here now I want to actually go ahead and change my. And I can bold my. I can change the color instead of making it red, I can choose a different one. And then if I want to actually make modifications for student A, if I don't want to use the mini toolbar, I can go up to the Home tab, and I can make the changes there, which is, of course, very similar to Microsoft Word. Once I have my title slide set, I want to go ahead and click New Slide to create a new slide. Now if you click the new slide button, it will just use the default. If I click the arrow below it, it will actually give me the choices I can pick from. So from here, I'm going to actually just choose title and content. Now if you look at the lower left hand corner of the status bar, you will notice that you actually have two slides instead of just one. This indicator is actually very handy when your presentation gets larger 
instead of counting one, two, three, you can just look in the status bar to determine how many slides you have. I realize we only have two, so that'd be very easy to count. Okay, now I'm going to add a title and text to the new slide. So I'm just going to type an overview for the title. And then I'm going to just put in topic one, topic two, so on and so forth. Just so you have an example. Earlier I showed you how to change your view within the status bar. You can also use the view tab. And of course here you see all the different views that you can pick from. Okay, so I have two slides and they look pretty generic since I didn't choose the template. So now we're going to click on design. And we're going to actually choose a certain design. If you don't see anyone that you want here, you can actually click on the more button. Now you have additional choices. If you actually just hover over any one of them, it will actually give you a preview in the background of how it looks. So I chose this one. And you can notice the difference between the slides. Now they have some kind of style to them. I can choose a different variant of that design if I want to. And as you see, I'm just hovering over them and it's changing it, giving me that instant preview. So I want to choose this one. And here's now how my second slide, which to me is a huge improvement of just the plain white uh, background. And of course, like I said, you could have chose a template at the start. I tend to like to get all the content and then actually choose a design kind of as I'm going along to see which one best fits the content. Okay, now we're going to add another slide. At this time, I'm just going to click the new slide button. This time, I'm going to insert a picture. So we we'll click the picture placeholder. You're just going to browse to the location of the picture. Once the picture is inserted, I can resize the picture. If I grab one of the four corners and drag it, it's going to resize the picture, but it's going to stay proportional to the original size. But what if I don't want to do that? What if I want to make it longer on one side? So if I grab just the side of it, I can just click and drag and just do it to the other side. And then, can, of course, I can go ahead and insert a title. You can also crop the picture. So let's say I don't want the palm trees into the pictures. I'd have to select a picture first, then click on Format, click Crop. And now you're going to want to go ahead and grab the handles and kind of just move them over as far as you want. And as you can see, the shaded area is the area that's going to be cropped. And I could just let go. And then I have to click the crop button again to crop it. And now if I want to, I can go ahead and extend the picture again. And now it's just water. So it comes in very handy when you have a picture that you just love, but there's a little piece of it that you don't want in there. You can also use pictures from the internet. If you go to www.google.com, select images, Type in the keyword. For me, it's going to be beach. Click search. There's going to be a lot of pictures that you can choose from. Once you know the one you want, right click. Choose copy image. Go back to your PowerPoint presentation. Right click on a slide that you want to paste it. You want to have several paste options, such as Use Destination, Keep Source Formatting, and Picture. We're going to choose Picture. So from here, you can resize the picture. You could leave both of them if you wanted to. Uh, I'm going to actually go ahead and resize the beach picture with chairs on top of the other one to determine which one that I want to keep. And I noticed once I resized it, it looks a little bit distorted. So I really don't want that one. So I'm just going to select it and click the delete key on the keyboard. And we'll go back to the original picture. Now we're going to try word art. We're going to click the insert tab. And then click on word art. Choose whichever option we want.
and go ahead and type in your text. I'll just put it in fun. Now I want to move it. So I just grab one of the borders and drag it up. And then say if I want to rotate it, just grab the circle, left click and rotate it any direction you want to. And I want to drag it a little bit farther over. And it kind of helps out the appeal of the slide. And of course, I'm sure it would be fun. Now we're going to want to save our file so we don't lose any of the information. To do this, click File, select Save, click Computer, and then click Browse. Now you want to locate your flash drive. If you don't see all your drives under this computer or my computer, just click it to collapse it or expand it. I'm going to select my flash drive. From there, you give it a name. I'm going to call it My Project. And then you simply click Save. And if you're wondering how you could tell if you saved it, now if you look at the uh, top of the screen, as you can see, now it says My Project dash PowerPoint. So now if you want to print it, click on File, and then choose Print. Now I realize most people now could hit the Print button, but keep in mind there's a lot more options you could choose from. Under Settings, instead of Print All Slides, you can actually choose a certain selection, a certain range. Say you don't need all of them, you just need you know 2 through 3, or 1 through 2. So, especially if you're at home, a way to save uh, Anchor Toner on your printer. So now also, do you want a full page uh, printout of each slide or just a handout? Uh, most people, especially if it's for meetings, they might choose like the three slides. We'll give participants a chance to write notes off to the side of each slide. And of course, the orientation, portrait or landscape. And then if you want it to color or not, depending on your printer. So once your choices are made, just simply click on the print button up top. Now, of course, if you need more than one copy, change the copies. Once you have your presentation completed, you're going to want to review it. Simply click on the Slideshow tab. And then you could choose From Beginning or From Current Slide. We're going to go ahead and choose From Beginning. As you can see, your title slide appears. To advance to the next slide, just click the left mouse button. If by mistake you advance too far, you double clicked, you can always right click and then choose previous. Say your presentation has 30 slides and at the very end someone says, oh on slide one or on slide three I have a question. So if you want, instead of kind of advancing back and forth to try to find three, you can just right click and choose see all slides and now you have an option to see all the slides and then you can pick oh slide three that's the one you're referring to talk about my vacation to exit the PowerPoint presentation just hit escape it'll bring you back to the slide that you're last viewing this concludes the uh, getting started with Microsoft PowerPoint 2013 I hope you enjoyed the presentation have a great day